in this class we are going to discuss comparison of logic families up to now we discussed so many logic families like bipolar logic families and uh, uh, unipolar logic families like mass uh, transistors like uh, p mass and mass c mass and coming to bipolar we discussed some uh, rtl dctl dtl and ttl ecl and all this so now we are going to compare all this bipolar and unipolar in different factors the parameters are components so here the components we are using here is resistors and transistors here also we are using resistors and transistors and here in dtl we are using resistors diodes and transistors if you observe that circuit you are going to know uh, here we are using resistors diodes and transistors in TTL we are using only resistors and transistors, in ECL also we are using only resistors and transistors, in I square L logic we are only using transistors, in CMOS we are using PMOS and NMOS. Coming to next factor noise margin, so we already discussed about this uh, while discussing the characteristics of uh, 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 logic families. So, here noise margin means the amount of noise or the uh, limit of noise, this is the limit of noise that a circuit can bear. So, here the noise margin is poor for RTL that means uh, this is noise sensitive and uh, this is uh, poor again for DCTL and noise margin is high for DTL and medium for TTL, low for ECL and for I square L and C mass it is high. So, uh, what for which logic families the noise margin is high means for DTL, I square L and C mass noise margin is high. So, now fan out coming to the fan out we already discussed about fan out in characteristics of logic families that is uh, this is nothing but the number of gates driven by a gate in a circuit. So, here the fan out is low for RTL nearly 4 gates it can drive. So, here also it is 4 and it is uh, here it is a medium for DTL the gates can drive up to 8 gates that means fan out is a medium nearly 8 and it is high for TTL nearly it can drive 10 gates and coming to ECL it is very high compared to all bipolar remaining bipolar. So, nearly 25 gates it can drive. So, now coming to I square L it may be 8 to 11 or 12 and coming to C mass it is very high fan out that is 50. So, fan out in logic families is high for C mass in both if you compare both uh, bipolar and unipolar C mass is having high fan out. If you take an only uh, uh, bipolar uh, logic family then fan out is high for ECL. So, now coming to power dissipation. So, power dissipation in millivolts, then 30 millivolts for RTL, DCTL 30 millivolts, 8 to 12 millivolts for DTL and for TTL. So, it is just 10 millivolts and 40 to 55 millivolts for ECL, 5 to 25 millivolts for I square L and 0 0.1 millivolts for CMOS. Here you can see, so uh, 0 0.1 milliwatt means it is very low power dissipation that means, so in all logic families this is very important gate point of few theoretical question. So, that is in all logic families the low power dissipation is CMOS. So, coming to here TTL is having low power dissipation uh, or uh, this DTL and TTL is having some moderate power dissipation in bipolar logic family. If you compare all logic families including unipolar, CMOS is always having low power dissipation. So, coming to delay, so it will take 12 nanoseconds RTL operation. So, uh, DCTL will take 10 nanoseconds and DTL will take 30 nanoseconds and TTL will take 10 nanoseconds and uh, 2 nanoseconds for 10K ECL 10K series and 0.75 nanoseconds for ECL 100K series and 25 to 2500 nanoseconds for I square L logic coming to CMOS it will take high propagation delay. That means if delay is high definitely it is slow compared to all logic families. So, here compared to unipolar CMOS is fastest but here compared to all logic families definitely it is having 
लो लो स्पीड दैट मीन्स हाई प्रोपगेशन डिले सो हियर यू कैन अब्सर्व इन ऑल लॉजिक फैमिली सीमास इज हैविंग हाई डिले हाई डिले मीन्स स्पीड इज वेरी लेस सो कमिंग टू हियर फिगर ऑफ मेरिट दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज स्पीड पवर प्रोडक्ट सो नाउ 144 for RTL, 1300 for DCTL, and DTL it's 300, TTL it's 100, and here 100 for 10K ECL and 40 for ECL 100K, and 4 for I square L for CMOS it is 0.7. So if you compare all these, figure of merit is less for CMOS. So we need to have less figure of merit. That less figure of merit in all these logic families, CMOS is having. So now you uh, two important points in this comparison are coming in the exams. That is, which logic family is having high power dissipation? So here you can observe. So CMOS uh, here high power dissipation means. so you can compare this your ecl is having high power dissipation low power dissipation is cmos in all logic families low power dissipation logic family is cmos high speed is ecl you can observe here so delay is very less compared to all other logic families this is fastest logic family compared to all logic families cmos is less power uh, less uh, this means less power dissipation and ecl is fastest compared to all logic families on this comparison you are going to get some theory questions in your exams